Good morning, guys. Can somebody please help me understand why in the world I scheduled an 8 o'clock eye doctor appointment? I didn't sleep well last night. My tummy is upset, but I'm, I've got to get out of here. But anyway, it's 7.30. Have to get going. I may take a little trip to Bell. It's not going to be open when I get finished, so... I might fool around. But anyway, I got this. <laughs> and you guys know that's like free money, right? $10 off of a beauty item and $10 off of a purchase. I can find something. But anyway, I have to get going. And uh, you'll know in a minute whether I took you along, right? <laughs> You know, I don't know why I don't give myself at least 15 or 20 minutes extra when I'm coming out in the mornings. I forget about school. I forget about people going to work. <laughs> it's always crowded. And still we sit and we wait and we wait. All right, I guess um, traffic will be moving in a minute. All right, we are here. Well, let me give you guys a little bit of sunshine and palm trees. I thought since Belk hasn't opened yet, let's just go in here for a minute, shall we?
am back home safe and sound. Uh, <laughs> Dr. Powers is so funny. I asked him when he was explaining the um, Optimat, it's Optimap, I think it's what it's called. But anyway, where you can like see actually inside of the eye and tell the health of your eye. And so as he was explaining, I asked him about filming it, and you could tell he was very uncomfortable. So I just told him, never mind, don't worry about it. <laughs> it was funny. You could tell he was uncomfortable with it, so it's okay. But anyway, I, I know I just got these frames last year, guys. But you know what? They are so big and oversized, and, and I like them. I still love them. Um, but I was... Talk, thinking about like with the salt and pepper hair going maybe like with a pewter or a silver like frame I tried a few on I want you to take a look and tell me what you think about them So what do you think about those frames? I thought all of them were kind of cute. I'll make a decision. Okay. Oh, and you know what? Um, the optician was telling me that she went to clean my uh, glasses and tighten them up for me because, you know, they get loose a lot. But she was saying that she noticed that I had like a little scratch or something. I didn't notice it. But they're going to replace my frames for free because she said, you know, the kind of lenses. And trust me, I have all kind of reflective, scratch resistant and all kinds of things coating on these lenses. And so she said they're under warranty. And so they're going to replace them for free. I said, okay. <laughs> so she's ordering them. And actually... It's going to be upgraded a little bit. Well, I'll do it this way so you all think that's really my right. On my right eye, I know I have an astigmatism, but he was saying that the right eye is a little bit worse than last year. I could tell when, you know, they have you to cover it and read the letters. I could tell that it was off this time. So anyway, they're going to give me new lenses. I'm appreciative. First thing, I ran into Bell's Outlet. And I still have some deodorant, but whenever I see it in there, I just get me some. Uh, so this is Dove, and I both of these are the Go Fresh Moisturizing Cream. I really like it. It's a 48-hour pomegranate and lemon scent, and it's regular, eight bucks. Bell's Outlet, three ninety-nine. So I got two of those. And you saw me try these on. They're like a, a Bermuda tropical print short. And I thought that those were very cute. That's going to be so cute for the summer. They have tons of colors. Aren't those pretty? I really like that coral because I have a coral top. I have the royal blue. You could just put it on with a white um, t-shirt. So this is going to be cute for this summer with some sneakers running about. So it was, they were regular 30. Bell's Outlet price was $14.99. So those are cute. They're by uh, Caribbean Joe. Now, don't say anything because I already know I didn't need this. Isn't that the cutest little woven? <laughs> it's like one of those canteen bags. I love this. It's by D. Mar Margot, New York. Never heard of them. Regular 50, it was $19.99, and I had a $5 off coupon, guys. Come on, really? You know I needed this, right? That's going to be so cute. So, I saw these as I was getting ready to leave. And remember, I just got the, well, I haven't gotten it yet. They told me it has been shipped. Remember that pretty lemon yellow dress that's coming from City Chic? Uh, I thought these would be so pretty. Aren't those cute? And they have like a little white daisy on them. These are by Nicole Miller, New York. Um, they were $10 and Bell's Outlet's price was $5.99. Cute, right? Then I went over to, oh, wait a minute, a couple more Bell's Outlet purchases. I got these flip-flops. Now they're men's I think 
but I don't care. I love the thickness of them, and I also love the leather. It's like a cognac color. I have, remember those black ones that I got off of Amazon last year? I am wearing those down fast. And so I love just a flip-flop or just a slide, like when I'm going out and about during the summertime. Cause it, now today it was a little bit chilly out there, but it's normally like in the 80s already. So anyway, these are by Dockers. You guys remember Dockers um, khaki pants and Dockers shoes. Remember the Dock shoes? I um, I thought that these would be great. So they have a comfort footbed. They had been 24. Look where these had come from. They came from Marshalls. They didn't even take the Marshalls tag off. They had been 24 at Marshalls and they were $9.99. That is too funny. I have never seen a Marshalls tag in Bell's Atlas. They usually, if they get something from another store, they usually take it off. And then I saw these slides. Thought they were so cute. Just a regular black. Aren't those cute? Those are going to be perfect. They have um, such cushion. Now, there's a brand, I mean, a store that carries Ava and Grace, and I'm not sure who it is, if it's Belk. I'm not sure, but somebody carries Ava and Grace shoes. But anyway, these had been $26. I got them for $12.99. Can't beat it. All right. Then I headed over to Belk, and this is where I really scored. Remember, I had the two coupons. Guys, I only paid $36, and I got a dress. Hold on. All right. So... They were having an 80% off sale. All right, my entire purchase there was $36. Can you believe it? And I got a dress. <laughs> so I got this dress. It's a knit. It's a turtleneck. This is so nice. And it's by... AGB, it retailed guys for 80 bucks. Let's see the ticket. Yeah, $78. And um, by the time that they took off the 80%, I think it was something like $15.99 or either $14.99. And then remember, I used the coupon, so like six bucks. You know, with tax and everything, like six dollars for this eighty dollar dress. <gasps> you know, I love it. Plus, it's supposed. Are you guys having cold weather again? Because it's supposed to be chilly here tomorrow again. So it's eighty percent rayon and twenty percent polyester, and I'm here for it. I love this dress. It's a knit. That's gonna be cute with like gold jewelry and a gold chain belt. Cute. Now, I'm not going to do a lookbook today, but I will do one later in the week. All right, so then to be able to use the other $10 coupon, it had to be a beauty item that was at least $25. And so I got an eyebrow pencil because I really didn't know what to get. You felt like something was in there. You know that they have done away with my Lancome, so... Um, I got an eyebrow pencil from uh, Estee Lauder, and I was really wanting one from MAC, but of course, you know, they don't have, you know, cashiers at all, hardly, in these stores. So the lady that waited on me was over at the Estee Lauder counter, so of course, you know she wanted to sell me some Estee Lauder. <laughs> so I told her, okay, fine, I'll give it a try. This eyebrow pencil is 30 bucks, guys. I told her, just go ahead and ring it. But anyway, it's a dual, um, it's called the Brow Multitasker Expert uh, Sorcels 3-in-1. So it's supposed to be the spoolie. Then on this end, you have the precise liner. Then your 
you have, I think it's supposed to be a, wait a minute. And she took, it, oh, there you go. You have to unscrew it. Then there's one that like fills it in. So I guess you line it, fill it in. And I hope that this doesn't conflict with my um, stamp. <laughs> you know, my iMethod Beauty. But anyway, I told her I'll give it a try. So I got that. Then she gave me this for $8. And I won't, the reason why I'm saying gave, because I think that serum, the serum in there is something like $80 for the big one. I think she said, I think she said this small one really sells for 40. But anyway, the reason why she let me have it for eight, because she had to, I guess, take um, a foundation out of it. You see the foundation is missing. She had to take a foundation out because it was the only one they had and this woman wanted it. So she let me have these three products here. She took out the foundation, so I got this serum. Uh, this is a, uh, there's a Repair and Protect Advanced Night Repair, a Prime and Care Glow Primer, and there's a brush. So I got like a three piece set for eight bucks where I think that it retailed, I don't know how much it retailed for, she was saying that the foundation was like 40, I don't know if she was telling me the truth or not, but anyway, I got this dual ended brush, which is always good to use, I got this, advanced night repair, and a primer, so, you know, I'm trying new things. So, I, uh, really wrapped up, I tell you. Okay, so there's a little primer that goes with it. Hmm. Okay, so that was $8. So think about it, guys. I got an eyebrow trio. A serum, a primer, a brush, and a dress for $36. <laughs> Don't you just love the bargain shopper in me? <laughs> so anyway, that was my little outing for today. And I love the fact that you guys like for me to take you with me. I think I got a little bit more footage today than normal. Uh... And, you know, it's hard to film because a lot of people don't really want you filming in the store. <laughs> so, hey, I think I got some clips that you'll, you'll like. But thanks for coming by. And if you are a new subscriber, guys, I think I've gotten like five more in like the past few days. Welcome. I am so glad that you're here. And uh, there will be Sassy Saturday coming up. Probably by the time you see this video, Saturday will be over with. It's Friday right now. But anyway, um, I really do appreciate you so, so much. And I hope that everybody is having a wonderful day. And make sure that you're staying safe out there and keep it sassy. I'll see you soon.